Hey, what up guys and gals, Holmes here and bringing you guys more Dark Souls 2 boss guides, alright? Boss strategy guys. And this time we got the three sentinels. So right off the bat, right off, um, right when you jump off or transition through the fog door, one of the sentinels is going to be here. Now, you want to keep, you want to stay on this platform for this first sentinel, alright? Because... The moment you jump down to the first floor, the other two sentinels are going to come after you. So if you didn't kill this one and you jump down already, it's going to be 3 on 1 and you don't want that to happen. So you want to keep, stay on this platform until you take out the first one, which is this one. And all of their moves are exactly the same, except for the last two because they have the ability to throw their shield. But once they toss their shield away, um, they, they can't retrieve the shield anymore. So don't worry about that. And... Uh, you can easily dodge a shield because it, just, it goes in a straight line so you can just side um, dodge it towards the side and you will be able to <laughs> dodge the, the attack it's pretty easy alright so they got a couple of moves easy to dodge easy to block um, uh, I'll go over them right after we deal with these guys because uh, I want to show you guys what they do and how to dodge it so, after you defeat the first one, just wait on this platform, the second one will jump up. Be careful when they, um, about them jumping up though, because when, once they jump up, they're going to do it with an attack. So, if you're in range of their the place where they jump up, if you don't have your guard up, they will be able to hit you, alright? So if, so, if you're in range and they jump up, if they hit you, you're going to take some massive damage. So, I suggest you guys stay away for a bit. And after getting like two hits off on the first guy that jumps up, um, just just jump down. There's no point because the uh, the second one is gonna jump up. So it's either way, you're gonna have to leave that area unless you want to fight these two guys on the tiny platform, which I wouldn't recommend it. I suggest you jump down. Right? Don't fight these guys in the tight area, um, especially this two. Now for two for these two guys, uh, once you get down here, they got this jumping attack, the one that one just performed right there. Uh, they jump up and then they do an overhead attack. Uh, they ha they also have this attack that they just two-handed weapon, they swing it to the side like that or they'll do an overhead attack. Now, the overhead attacks you guys can easily dodge it by jumping backwards. The one when they swing from left to right, you can dodge it by rolling towards the left. But you gotta get your timing down or else you're gonna get whooped. Now this spinning attack, it's kind of a pain. You can't really outrow or outrun it. Uh, what you can do is you can block it. It it barely chips off your stamina too, so it's surprisingly easy to block. I would have thought like it would it would have like drained your stamina or something, but it's, it doesn't. Right. So the key to dodging, um, escaping the spinning attack is to just block it. And only a few attacks. They only have a few attack that. They, they have to like um, recover after it's the heavy attacks these attacks they will have a two hit combo the poke and then the the swing whatever all right the spinning attack you can block it with one hand they gotta recover from that too they gotta recover from all their attack actually all right the overhead swing you can get two attack in but since there's two of them we won't risk it if there's two sentinels when you're fighting these two sentinels together you want to just get one hit in, all right? Um, and be careful if if the other one's too near. I, I wouldn't recommend you getting a hit in because it might be a bit risky. All right, the one-two swing side to side. You guys can block and backward dodge that. They have a recovery time for that. Like I said before, they have a recovery time for all their attacks. The spinning move, just block it, easy, no problem. Um, make make sure you keep an eye on two of them together all right if they jump like if they, if they split up you want to um, try to get, like, get around them just to make them stick together again so it'll make your fight easier if they're if one's on opposite sides of each other then it's gonna be hard for you to keep track of who or who's who because if you attack one the other the other one might be like doing some sort of devastating attack behind you and you won't be able to see it so you want to keep an eye on both of them, right? Make sure you don't lose track of them. If one jumps to the other side, you want to move your character towards the opposite side they jump on. Just so you can get your sight on both of them, right? Make sure you keep an eye on both of them. 
It's really important, that's why I'm keep I keep repeating that sentence. It's really important to keep your eye on both of them. Alright, so... Yeah, just gotta wait it out. Uh, wait for one to do attack. And if the other one's like walking away or something, or if they're in a bit of distance, you can get one hit in. If they're too close to the to their ally, don't risk it because you don't know if they're gonna come out with a quick attack or not. And they chain their combos in Dark Souls too, so it's it's kind of risky. And once they they get off their chain on you, it hurts. It hurts. Believe me. That's why you want to play it safe against like multiple enemies. It doesn't matter enemy or bosses. You want to play it safe, all right? Um, if there's more than one, you want to play it really safe. All right, he's gonna do a jumping attack. The other one's far away. Gonna get one hit in. Uh, okay, one of them's backing up. All right, he's gonna do his. Well, she's gonna do her whatever. One, two attack. All right, this one just did a heavy attack, so it's gonna recover. But then the other one's too close, so I didn't want to risk it. Alright, the other one's gonna do a jumping attack. Alright, the other one, now, <laughs> number one or number two is gonna do another jumping attack. So I'm just gonna finish her off here. And I'm gonna roll away, roll away. Get a bit of distance so I can see this person. Alright, the shield attack, easy, dodge it. Rolling towards this die. And once they lose their shield, they won't be able to get it back anymore, alright? So, that's, I don't think it changes anything. I'm not sure if they even use their shields. It doesn't even look like they use it. Alright, overhead attack. It's a heavy attack. You guys can risk dodging towards the side, but I wouldn't do it because you, you have gone this far already. So might as well just block all their attacks. Because if you die right now, when we come back, all three of them are going to be alive again. So it's, it's a really bitchy boss fight here. It's got the heavy attack swing. Yeah, the, the sweeping swing. This guy has a little one hit. 1-2 combo right there, the poking one, the poke and then he's gonna swing, uh, he's got a spinning attack, just block that one, alright, just get one hit, and I know he's almost dead, doesn't matter, you wanna still play it safe, okay, <laughs> I kinda just did a quick one there, cause I know he wouldn't be able to recover from that, so yeah, they have a heavy overhead attack, heavy sw um, sweeping attack, um, they got a jumping attack. They got two jumping attack actually. One of them is when they step backwards and then they do an overhead chop and then one the other ones they just charge and then they do an overhead attack. So that's gonna be it for my three Sentinels boss guy for Dark Souls 2. Uh stay tuned for more boss guides. <laughs> yeah, I'm gonna be providing all the boss guides for Dark Souls 2. So if you guys want to know how to defeat a boss, just stay tuned to this channel, alright? So yeah, I'll catch you guys next time. Holmes out.